guys, I had a very chill and productive morning. I did some journaling, made myself a really wholesome breakfast with my banana bread, which is so good. Got dressed, we're gonna have a nice workout. I have so many things to do and I'm really stressing myself out. Also, cause I am hosting tonight. Girls are coming over for a sleepover. We're having a cocktail tonight, a girls night. I'm really excited. And something that I do to make sure that I do not get lonely, having a really nice balance between being alone and making time to spend time with others and be social that comes from a girl who's really introverted like me sometimes i get a little bit socially anxious but i think once you find your people it's all good i'm gonna go to the gym now we're gonna have a nice workout also like have my little cute gym fit on the, the gym shark long sleeve i'm not as motivated right now to go to the gym but it's not really about motivation when it comes to the gym it's about consistency so i'm just gonna think about that i'm gonna get myself pumped by listening to some good music that made me feel good in the car because car rides are a serious pre-prep for gym so yeah let's go to the gym Gym is done. I went to the grocery store and I did some groceries for tonight. I'm having a sleepover, so I I got stressed again because I want to make sure everybody's having the best time ever. I'm stressing myself out and I kind of like bought everything because I'm scared that there's not enough choices for the people to eat and stuff like that. Yeah, so I bought all the food and snacks for tonight and tomorrow morning. The girls are going to buy everything for the cocktails and drinks. That was so stressful. Uh, I just want to make sure everybody has the best time ever and that's why I'm kind of like was stressing out what should I buy. But I think I did a good job. I have my lashes appointment in 20 minutes, uh, which I need to find a parking spot as well. So I hope that I get a spot and I hope that I make everything in time. I'm getting a lash lift in tint because, because without it, I don't have any volume. So... So, fast forward, I couldn't really record with you guys because I was so stressed. As everybody thought it would happen, I was behind. I was way behind than I thought I would be. Lesson be learned, because uh, I'm stressed right now. Thank God that my friends are never on time. Thank you for that. I have to clean the whole house, kitchen, the bathroom, the beds. I have to make the beds, prep the beds, and I wasn't on time at all. And now I just took a shower. I'm getting my hair ready in a kind of sense. I don't know if that's gonna be successful. I need to put makeup on and I need to get ready. That being said, guys, my friends are coming over and we're having a sleepover, which I'm so excited about. And I, I don't know when's the last time I had a sleepover with girls. I think it was ages ago. I think it was before COVID and before lockdown. I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to this. As I already said, if I invite you over to my house to sleep over, that means a huge big deal. So I love you guys. Another advice, you know, for people living alone in your 20s, I think there's definitely a balance needed between spending time by yourself and spending time with people that you love or just being social. I'm saying this as an introvert. I love being alone and I think that when you live alone, you need to teach yourself to be alone. Love your company, just love being by yourself. But I think this can be like a dangerous cycle, if you know what I mean. Because if you get used to being alone all the time and being lonely, you prefer that and you isolate yourself totally from everybody. So balance it. Balance it out as much as you can. If you live alone in the city and you don't know anybody, I, I understand that. It used to be like that with me as well. I would then like organize that like people would visit me like my boyfriend. But now I have friends luckily, so it's much more easy to balance that out. Self-care and all that kind of stuff, which is amazing. But you also need that time spent with your loved ones and just like being social because if not, I think both extremes are not healthy. We're practicing self-care, spending time by yourself and learning to be alone without being feeling lonely. But do not get too much into it because it can be dangerous and I can say that firsthand. Balance it out. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. but uh, you both, yeah. too much. Mm. 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 
doesn't have enough Google research demolished. And that's well, why something that they know is Google research enough by an audience. But opposite logic. Like, yeah, yeah, be, yeah if I would, so if, true. If so the same true. Thing, then it gets worse. So. <laughs> now it's recording. Now you're filming. So yeah. So you've got to. We need to buy more battery. Yeah, right? Yes. Because I no, have to crochet more penises for Yosef. Yes, of course. Yeah, I have to make more penises. Pink ones and orange ones. Blue balls? <laughs> yeah, a lot of blue balls. Yeah. Yeah. Are you happy with that, Alex? I had this on camera, I'm so happy. I'm Christian. The camera? Uh, could you hmm. make some dildo? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah. Picture. That's a video. Exist, you're being fake. <laughs> you're being um, real. Um, you're both. <gasps> I haven't done my be real yet. <laughs> so do you know what hot girls do in their twenties? They have cocktails night. <laughs> and they watch the the Anna Jedi movie. It's a drinking game. All together, and you know that it's the best of both worlds. How you did? Actually, that's the only thing I wrote. What did you do? <laughs> Why do you always make my clips like that? Do you want to share something else? Uh, not on camera, honey. Not on camera, honey. No, no, no. Watching oh, Hannah Montana. She looks very happy now. You know, she's more grounded oh, now. She has brown hair. Yeah. 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 We can't see the arc. Yeah. Oh. Help me out. It's the next morning and it's almost... 12 p.m. All the girls are still sleeping, but I'm awake because I don't sleep long. I'm an early bird. I did the dishes, I did everything. I already start doing a brunch for everybody because I'm feeling kind. I just feel I have to do this as a host. So I started doing the table. I'm gonna start cutting the fruit, starting a little brunch assembly because when I wake up, they're gonna be like surprised with this beautiful brunch assembly. the whole day they woke up at 12. i'm just <laughs> this is how you live <laughs> i did a perfect brunch for the girls how it was, was it so how was the brunch how was the staycation at b's airbnb i feel rested i feel better <laughs> i feel happy i feel content that's great i'm happy to hear Wait, Ow! Ow! <laughs> girl i forgot that you can't see we're having a little sunset walk it's actually so nice it's so nice it's so nice. I love feeling the wind on my face. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking to a street food hall right now. It's called Mark Tanoin, and on Thursdays they do street food. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's kind of like a huge warehouse, and then inside they have so many food stands. We're gonna go all there together. Pop here's a southern accent. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. So, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. So excited to try this. We were searching for it. Always oh, when excited. you're not looking for it that you find it. Yeah, and then we did look for it and we found it. It's so good. It's like steamed and pan fried dumplings. I'm so excited to eat it. This is so cool. We definitely need to go here in Berlin. Max and on every Thursday, 5 p.m. Street food. They also have tacos, they have Ukrainian food, they have French food, everything. Beef food. Also like beef brisket sandwiches. So many things. What? Just new stars. Yes. Guys, that was very good. We're trying mochi. mochi. Oh, you already had mochi ice cream. I've had, I'm yeah. trying mochi ice cream. 
first time. I'm really I'm excited. Watch stand. Watch you stand. So I'm so excited. I hope I'm gonna get pistachio. Good. I think so. I'm gonna get pistachio. <gasps> Coconut. What's yuzu? Yuzu. I think it's like yuzu. that um, purple sweet potato. <laughs> One. So good. The experience is a 10 out of 10. Is this the first time you've had mochi? Yes. Oh my god. You've never had regular mochi? Regular is also great, mm -hmm. but like whipped cream and strawberry. Mm -hmm. So good. This is our challenge. And I got coconut pistachio. Mm -hmm.